Hey guys, so a subscriber has sent me a package. Uh, I think I have two packages. I don't know if it's from the same person or not. So I'm at the post office now. I figure I'd take you guys along. I forgot I gotta go in there, so I better not take y'all. All right, guys, we got a package here. I actually know what's in this one. I didn't realize there's been a package here since July. So, I think I actually came since then. I just think that maybe I didn't know there was a package inside there. So I only got the one out of my box. Golly. What is this? Four bobblehead, Jeff. Okay. That one's for Jeff. Oh, sweet. It's like an iron cross mirror. And this is an air-powered grease gun. And uh, looks like just like a blower. Psh, 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 psh. These came from California. Uh, I talked with the fella. He said, uh, I think it was his late father's. Uh, it might have been his grandfather's. But uh, uh, I think he did uh, aircraft stuff. So he had a grease gun for that. and. Uh, I guess he passed away and it's just been sitting around so he wanted to give it to me because I've been greasing that other truck so uh, I was really wishing I had this yesterday uh, whenever I was greasing that truck but I've got it for next time so thank you so much man I appreciate that and I'm gonna leave this kind of um, together I don't know what it is but just gonna see this so if I open it now then he'll know so I better not and um, also I got another package and it says to the noisy neighbors so uh i better not open that either but uh i just talked to the lady here at the post office and she's given me okay to just kind of roll me and jeff into the same p.o box to make it easier for us to pick up mail and stuff like that so uh whichever one of us come up here we'll be able to grab it so uh, i haven't i haven't officially told jeff yet but um, we'll probably just share a P.O. box to make it easier. So my account's on there, Jeff's name's on there, and the noisy neighbors are on there. So anything that you guys send, uh, we'll get it. Hey guys, so y'all been wanting to meet Lindsay. How did, uh, do you remember how we met? Um, I sold you a Volkswagen. Yeah, so uh, she had a Volkswagen for sale and she was actually moving to a different place and she didn't have a she didn't have a um a place to put it so i don't know if y'all remember this old volkswagen but um but yeah she sold it to me and then she actually moved back here about six months later and then she bought it back from me so uh anyways uh we've been working on the truck for her uh what year is your truck 65 so she got a 65 chevy that's kind of like my white one and uh actually it's exactly like my white one but here it is. We've been doing frame off, so all new front suspension, all new steering, everything mechanical has been done. It's gonna be a patina truck, so it's gonna stay all rusty and stuff like that. But it's just gonna be, everything else will be done. So, uh, right now, we've been working on the brakes, got all new brakes and everything. And uh, yesterday we was working on the bed, putting new wood and stuff in it, so. Are you excited? Super excited. All right, guys, y'all wanted to meet Lindsay. Uh, we also got her motor put together and she did all that, so I'm gonna show you a clip of that.
All right, guys, we made it back with the motor. Casting number is 3789935. So it is a 283 and four barrel intake. All right, the engine stand should be ready to hold this thing. I'm gonna leave the chain connected and just walk her down easy. All right, we're gonna get the valve covers look, pulled off and then give you a show of that. And then we get the intake pulled off. We're gonna pull the heads off tonight too. Pull. You guys get to boom. Oh yeah, that looks really good. All right, everything looks good in there. We're gonna get the intake pulled off. Take a gander under it. Let's take a gander. Ah. Any cracks in there? Everything looks good to me. Let's see if this other side's unstuck enough. We can pull the whole head. Yep, there we go. There you go, it's heavy. Walk her over there and set her down on the... Alright guys. See those cleaned up nicely again. I could scrub all night long or I could just call it good with a clean surface. Alright guys, got the intake cleaned up. Put my bolt. Even though I usually don't do it. The rooster stopped by, check out the truck. Heard we got a new 283. Yeah, it's a four barrel too. Music. All right guys, got the new timing gears on. Get the timing cover on, get the oil pan on, and then we can paint the block. It's gonna be pretty. New fuel pump's going on. All right guys. Fuel pumps installed, blocks painted, harmonic balancers back on. Here's one of those damn cicadas. Dummy fell in the box. You're gonna have to look real, real close. 60 over. So, that means this little motor is actually a 283 60 over. So 292 cubic inches, really it's kind of a bummer because I was hoping this motor would last a long time and I thought they were standard size, I didn't measure them until now, so it is sure enough 60 over, but everything still looks good, we got her all going up, so should be pretty quick for a little 283. Alright guys, motor is painted. It's got the heads torqued, got heads and intake torqued, got them painted, got our push rods back in. They're not set yet, I haven't set the valve lash, but. Alright guys, we're setting all the valve lash. Uh, we got the valve covers primered up. We'll be painting those in a minute. Putting oil in it for the first time. Looks great. Ladies and gentlemen. Hey 
Hey guys, I'm walking down to Jeff's. I didn't really feel like driving. We were supposed to have a dozer here this morning. I got up early to come down here and then when they didn't show, I went back to sleep. What's up, man? <laughs> Boy priority done. My batteries can charge while they're or can record while they're on the charger. Yeah. Yeah, that camera I can film and run it at the same time. Oh, an egg. Uh... Egg weight. Man, do you know how many eggs I get in a day? <laughs> I'll be doing that forever. I was wondering if it was a fertility thing. No, it's good to know to yeah. compare. In some states, you legally have to weigh them and uh, separate them by weight. Sweet, man. that runs right here all the way back to there we already took out this Jeff took out all that just trying to get some parking spots and room for a bulldozer alright guys I'm back from Jeff's I uh, have a lot more to do tonight I had to run off early but uh, right now I've got something pretty exciting going on and I'm not counting my chickens yet but I'm pretty sure this is about to happen so I'm going to do my part of the deal and hopefully the other side will go through. Um, I got some rear axles for a golf cart. One, two, three, four. I also have leaf springs. I'm going to have front axles with hubs. And I got some motor hubs. I'm about to trade all those for a really badass Chevy. I know it sounds crazy, but I gotta take advantage of it right now while I've got the opportunity. So I'm gonna start carrying these to my truck and I'll bring you all along. This is the old fuel tank out of the 84 Chevy. It's trash. Alright, there's at least two full sets of axles in there, maybe. There's four rear, one's open, so three full rears and at least two full fronts. Uh, here's the old electric motors, which have the drives for the axle. He could run, chain drive, whatever he wants, but anyway. A whole bunch of leaf springs. Basically a little, a little mini cart or something, so he's probably going to build with it. So I don't care what he builds as long as I get another Chevrolet. Well, dude needs a couple tires for his truck too. I just bought me a, a new used set for this truck and I have one spare. I was gonna keep this and have two more spares, but I don't mind trading them off. That's a good tire still. They're not matching tires, but they're the same size at least. Try to make the trade. Done deal. Heck yeah, dude. Crazy. Needs a lot of work. Doesn't have a motor, doesn't have a front clip. Don't care. Doesn't have a title. Don't care. Alright, so 
60s Suburban. And I will own this, Jeff, and I'll let you drive it. Yes, I'll smile See, some of these cars, they're less important. This is a keeper right here. This is a lifelong car right here. So, And plus, I see how much Jeff loves this Suburban. I'm kind of jealous. Over at Jeff's, talking about getting rid of this trash pile. Hopefully I can get it done before everybody shows up. I've been saying I'll get it done for weeks now. Anyways, Lindsay just discovered a abandoned building back behind Jeff's place that we've never seen before. We're going to investigate. Some cool wood anyway. What is? Janice. Oh, wall. Janice was here? Yeah. Dang. Williams, Look how old that vacuum cleaner is. Yeah. It's a hatcher. What in the tarnation is that? Some kind of sewing machine thing? Mm -hmm. It looks like a fan wheel. Yeah. It's like a gotta be some old fan there's like fan blades and then that pulley system just drove the fan <laughs> it's an outhouse for sure mm -hmm. I'm going around to the back side that's the craziest old vacuum cleaner I've ever seen it might not be a vacuum cleaner maybe some kind of scrubber it's got some weird feet on it That's pretty much it. An old baby food jar. Hey, old fishing reel. I bet it still works. Here, I've only got two hands. Will you spin this? Spin it the other way. Nope, doesn't work. <laughs> 